Hey everyone, welcome to this video on lung volume definitions brought to you by EMT Prep. I'm excited to get started, so let's take a look at all the important terms you should know when it comes to lung volumes. The first thing we're going to talk about today is tidal volume. And tidal volume is the amount of air that's inhaled or exhaled during one respiratory cycle. And that's depicted in this little wave that you see um, in that narrow area labeled VT. The normal um, tidal volume that you're going to see in an adult is somewhere around 400 milliliters of air. The next thing we're going to define here is inspiratory reserve volume. This is the amount of air that's forcibly inhaled after a normal tidal volume. Inspiratory reserve volume is something that you really only use during deep breathing. After that, we're going to talk about expiratory reserve volume. This is the amount of air that's exhaled forcibly after exhalation included in a normal tidal volume. The normal value for an adult is somewhere around eight or 900 milliliters of air. At the bottom here, you'll see residual volume. This is the volume of air that's left in the lungs after you have exhaled to the max. Um, it's something that you can't really access with breathing, um, but it is that residual air that stays um, after you've done your forcible um, exhalation. Adults are going to average somewhere around 1,000 to 1,200 milliliters of air, depending on a variety of factors. Next, let's talk about inspiratory capacity. So this one is actually something you can calculate by inspiratory reserve volume plus tidal volume. We've shown ERV and RV, and we're gonna go to vital capacity next. This is the total amount of air that is exhaled after that max inhalation. This is somewhere around 4,500 to 5,000 mils but again, like everything, it's gonna vary depending on the patient's health status, uh, their age, things like that. The last thing here is functional residual capacity. It's gonna be around 2000 mils for the average adult. And as you can kind of see or guess, it's that amount of air that's in the lungs after you've done a normal exhalation. So again, it's not something we can fully access but because it has that residual volume piece. It's not something that we um, could fully exhale out. And then lastly on the right here is total lung capacity. So total lung capacity is this entire diagram. It's the inspiratory reserve volume plus tidal volume plus the expiratory reserve volume plus residual volume. You add those four things up, you get your total lung capacity. I hope this diagram and this video has helped clear up some of the misconceptions or uh, difficulties when learning lung volumes. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll see you on the next one.